And we are back live here at Race World Offshore Facebook and live locally, terrestrially in the Tampa Bay area on AM820 and FM967 Tampa and FM983 Pinellas, CBS Sports Radio. And Todd Swafford back for the Super Stock Race along with John J.W. Powell. The bracketed boats are done. And as we continue on today in our broadcast, we'll try and get you updated where those boats finished up. We did have some some issues we're trying to work through right now and give you as, the most accurate information possible, so we'll pass that along to you as soon as possible. Now, right now, potentially the most exciting race of the day is coming up, and that's the super stock boats. These are This is spec class racing, JW, very wide aerodynamic tunnel holes uh, up to 32 feet in length. Very agile boats. Uh, they weigh 3,900 to 4,400 pounds, depending on the length of the boat. Tunnel tabs uh, are, were eliminated in this class. They use a data logger, uh, and uh, they'll, they'll have to meet a minimum weight requirement when they come out of the water. But uh, this is a spec class. 300XS is the engine. Pretty much everybody's on a level playing field. Yeah, yeah, this is... a. Uh probably the most popular most exciting class we were talking in the earlier race about how these guys have uh, banded together and uh, they might not agree with each other and they might not like each other but they've come to a uh, um, a, a nice uh, group where they've all uh, agreed to uh, race by the same rules with the same equipment and uh, this should be Really exciting where it all just comes down to skill. We have five Doug Wright cats, two victory holes, one skater, and one wicket. As you see the boats move out northbound, heading to the milling circle in front of the crowd here at Clearwater Beach. And uh, let's give you the team, the, the teams that are racing here today. Team Allen Lawn Care. It's a Doug Wright with Cody McDowell and Billy Allen. CMR Racing is the... The, 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 the Doug Wright Hall with Eric Belial and Sean Torrente, they are in second place in the APBA National Point Standings. Looking to, 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 to finish first here today and put in their, their wake performance boat center, uh, which is another Doug Wright, Rusty Williams and Myrick Coyle, who are in the points lead in that series. CR Racing X Insurance, uh, the defending Race World Offshore world champion in the uh, Superstock class. It's another Doug Wright, Rob Understall, and Casey Boaz. LPC Racing S27, Vinny DiOrio is the driver. Lauren Peters on the throttles. Wicked Power Boats, that's a Todd DePhillips and Mike Bethan in a 28 wicked hull. Jackhammer, one of the two victory hulls, S42 with Reese Langham and Ricky Maldonado. And Turtle Cove Marina of Key West. Fame. Born in Key West, now living in Bradenton, Florida. The Rap Man, that's uh, Ryan Beckley, along with Chris Hopgood and a 30-foot skater, the lone skater in the class. And the last boat, the second victory hull, FJ Propellers, out of Boca Raton, multi-time stock class world champion Gary Ballou is on the sticks, along with Sean Connor. Now, as the boats head out to the milling circle, they'll be milling clockwise. Now, this class is going to invert their starts. This is part of the APBA National Point Series. This is the sixth race where they can count their points. Uh, seven total races between RWO, OPA, and P1. And in this class and in Supercat, they can drop their lowest finish of the year and pick up a, a higher point finish. They'll take their six best scores, and that'll go towards the point standings. And again, right now, Performance Boat Center, 13 points ahead of CMR Racing. So, JW, they're going to invert the start based on their last race in St. Pete. Whoever finished first will be on the inside line. Or no, whoever, whoever finished, finished first, last right. will be on the inside line. And whoever finished first will be on the outside line. Okay, so going in order from the pace boat to the outside of the course, in lane number one, S111, the Turtle Cove Marina. In lane number two, S number 42, Jackhammer. Lane number three, S19, FJ Propeller. Lane number four, S27, LPC Racing. Lane number five, S8, CR Racing, uh, X Insurance Boat. 
And uh, lane number six, it would be uh, the S-17 Allen boat. Um, lane number eight, uh, S-11, the Wicked boat. And, uh, well, I missed, I missed one somewhere, but uh, next to, uh, to last to the outside, S-21 Performance Boat Center, and uh, the very last outside spot lane, uh, S number 54, the CMR Racing Boat. And we're looking again towards the north end of the course. This is an, an oval course. It runs right uh, north, south, and south to north, right down Clearwater Beach, right in front of Pier 60. And uh, the, the boats will mill clockwise. They'll, they'll wait for the Cigarette Hawk, the pace boat, to come pick them up. Uh, Chief Reverie Richie Dan Sisson is in the boat. He'll, he'll get them lined up. It'll be up to them to get themselves in their, their starting order. And then he's going to slowly drag them towards the south and pick them up to where they can get on plane, get set up, line up about 100 feet behind the boat. And, and then once uh, everything is ready to go, he'll put the green flag up and, and we'll go racing. It's uh, 4.38 miles the course. The start finish line, orange smoke, which means we're about a minute away from him dragging the boats off and getting ready to, to line them up. And then they'll race 11 laps here today. That's 48 miles. These boats will be fast. Yeah, they're uh, capable of speeds, uh, you know, all depending on the sea conditions, up to about 110, 115 miles per hour. They are limited in RPMs to 6,400 RPMs. And there we have a yellow flag, so the boats will be starting to line up and get in their respective lanes, as we described a little bit earlier. Yeah, and uh, they're limited to, uh, to 6,400 RPM. They'll, they have a G2X data logger. They'll give the SD card to RWO inspection, and they'll make sure that they maintain that 6,400 uh, 6, RPM limit. So as you watch these boats come right at you they they will have a ton of air under them i mean they, they're very light very aerodynamic of excellent uh, horsepower to weight ratio uh, they'll fly right on the water now uh, and, and as jw mentioned they're capable of speeds of 115 now the straightaway is about two miles it's about where they'll limit out they can go faster than that they'll have to slow down get ready to dig in for the turn and as these boats line up, they have to maintain their lanes going into turn one here on, on the south end. They go through the first turn, and as they come out, then they can straighten out and follow the leader. So getting to the first pin is hugely important here. Getting out around that first turn first and putting everybody behind you is hugely important. It's hard to get around somebody when this fast. Green flag is Drop. That means we're off and racing. The race is on here in Superstock Class at the 12th Annual Clearwater Hooters Offshore Nationals presented by Race World Offshore. Boats running down the line here in front of the big spectator field watching this race here on beautiful Clearwater Beach. There's your lead boats coming right down in, in front of Pier 60 getting ready to head into turn number one. Looks like Jackhammer having a real good start. LPC running in second. Coming up on the inside, looks like CR Racing 8X Insurance. So CR Racing having a nice run. Gets out in front of everybody from the outside. And heading into turn one and charging. That looks like CMR hard on the outside. But we'll head into turn one. On the south end of the course. Now, if there is a chop, this is probably where it's going to be. But really, today it looks ice calm out there, JW. Yeah, well, they're so tightly packed, too. So going through these first couple turns, uh, they'll be creating wakes, crossing each other's wakes. So you might see a little bit of squirreliness as they're going into the turns. But there they go, screaming down the backstretch. All right, our leader, as we zoom in, continues to be X Insurance. That's CR Racing. Casey Boaz and Rob Understall and that Doug Wright leading as they scream down the far side of the course heading north. Getting chased. A lot of boats within five, six, seven seconds of the lead. But it's CR Racing X Insurance with the lead as we head to turn two on the north end. It looked like CMR was just on the outside of them and Jackhammer in the third spot. So they'll head into turn two. This is on the north end of the course. There's FJ Propellers and Team Allen Lawn Care. 
they get ready to make the turn at two. We'll get a look at the boats as they come back down, heading south, down on the beach. We pan into the turn. Lee boats already out there. CMR Racing really looked like they were challenging hard. Still is CR Racing. Looks like CR Racing and then CMR. 1-2. Jackhammer got a good start. Somebody moving up on the inside. Now about two miles, so they give back here towards turn one. Still looks like CR Racing X Insurance. They really got that boat running well here. Be interesting to see how it goes throughout the, the afternoon if they run into their setup as they burn off fuel. But as they got started, CR Racing got a really good start. They continue to lead here as they come out and officially finish lap number one. So it'll be CR Racing in the lead. CMR on the outside right behind them. Taking a wide line. Heading towards the turn, trying to figure out where Performance Boat Center is. Jackhammer running in third. So Jackhammer is in third. Looks like Performance Boat Center running in fourth place, and Team Allen Lawn Care is in fifth. So your leaders. After lap number one of the Superstock class, CR Racing X Insurance, Doug Wright with Rob Understall and Casey Boaz in first place, CM, CMR Racing, CMR Roofing in second, as they're, they're right where they want to be in the number two spot with Sean Torrente and Eric Belisle. Then in third, Jackhammer looking good in that, that victory hole here today. Ahead of Performance Boat Center in fourth, Team Allen Lawn Care in fifth, and obviously CMR right where they want to be, two spots right now ahead of Performance Boat Center. Good to see the Jackhammer performing so well. We were talking the other day about how some of the victory halls just haven't seemed to flourish like the other halls in this class. Yeah, and they, they raced real well. They were out in front in St. Petersburg running up on the podium until they fell back early. Fell back later in the race, excuse me. But uh, they're looking good here today, running in third place. So we go back out to the, the north stretch. The boats get away about two miles away from us here at this angle. As they continue around, still looks like CR Racing and CMR 1-2. CR Racing looks to be running really flat. I'm seeing a little bit of air under CMR, so he's obviously pushing it pretty good. Yeah, he carried a lot of speed around the turn. He takes it wide. Not a lot of wind here for them to deal with today. And it looks like the, the gap between three and four is narrowed. But again, it continues to, to be CM. CMR Racing running in second behind CR Racing X Insurance. So here on lap number two as they pass by here at the start finish line. Still CR Racing with a nice lead. We look back at LPC. Here is CR Racing in first. Looks like CMR in second. Three seconds behind. And then Jackhammer continuing to run in third. So no change in the top three boats. Jackhammer 12 seconds behind the leader. Now LPC Racing has moved up to fourth spot. Team Allen Lawn Care in fifth. It looks like FJ Propellers 
Wicked is in fifth now, and FJ Propellers in sixth. And while I was scoring, I, I honestly did not see Performance Boat Center fast diesel fuels. But we'll, just based on our vantage point, we'll keep our eye open and see if we can catch them back out on the course. Right now, a nice, fast race going for the defending RWO World Championship, CR Racing and X Insurance. They just seem to have their boat dialed in. They're running really super flat and straight. Um, see uh, the CMR boat trying to catch up to them, doing a little bit of chine walking, trying to get some air, just, just trying as hard as he can to get that boat dialed in. There you see the smallest boat in the class. That's the 28 Wicked running against the, the, the Victory Hall. And Gary Ballou trying to take the inside now as they head out towards turn two on the back stretch, but the Wicked having a pretty good day running in fifth. Finished on the podium in St. Petersburg, Todd to Phillips' boat. His company, Matt EFI, works very hard on supplying parts and for the class. Our leaders coming around, turn two, heading back down on finishing up a lap number three here today. And again, it continues to be CR racing in the lead. As they'll pass by, see if they maintain their, their lead on CMR. There's... That's a CMR boat. The CMR boat, they're right where they want to be, running in second place. They want a podium finish. They want to stay in front of Performance Boat Center. We lost Performance Boat Center fast diesel fuels on the last lap. We're just seeing our leaders come across. About the same splits at the, uh, at the start finish line there, Todd. Jack Hammer continuing to run in third place. There's Performance Boat Center. They are running, continuing to run in fourth place. Must have got mixed up in those in those mess of boats that came through on the last pass. Looks like LPC is running in fifth. Team Allen Lawn Care in sixth. Then. Wicked just staying ahead of FJ Propellers. Who's running in eighth place. So eight of the nine boats, I don't believe I've seen the Turtle Cove Marina boat come around. Not far from Ryan Beckley's home waters of Bradenton, Florida. Jackhammer. Looks like he was overtaken by Performance Boat Center. It does. You're right. Performance Boat Center now, the fast diesel fuels team. Passed him there on turn number one. Now Jackhammer making a move, trying to get to the inside. Performance Boat Center in control. He's trying to chase down CMR, but he has a pretty substantial lead. That's where CMR wants to be. They want to finish in front of Performance Boat Center Fast Diesel Fuels. I mean, we'll give them the national points lead. CMR still on that outside line, running hard. But CR Racing, very impressive. This is a boat that has performed very well in rough water. So, I mean, if you th didn't think they could hook it up and run good on a flat course, well, you're, you're wrong. They certainly got it going here today. And a substantial lead here as we finish up lap number four here today in the 2021 12th Annual Clearwater Hooters Offshore Nationals presented by Race World Offshore. And there's CR Racing, followed by CMR. 
Performance Boat Center in third, Jackhammer in fourth. So they have moved up and they're right behind CMR Racing. There's Performance Boat Center coming right in front of us as they've completed lap number four now in third place. Jack Hammer in fourth. Stay on the, the start finish buoy here. LPC continues to hold fifth place. Team Allen Lawn Care in sixth. Billy Allen looking pretty strong. Team Here Wicked, really. Team yeah. Wicked, yep. They're having a good day today. Again, running in seventh, FJ Propellers back in eighth place. So we watch Team Allen Lawn Care cruising around in turn one, south end of this, this course. He's boats out on their fourth lap, 11 of 48 miles here today. Again, with CR Racing, there's FJ Propellers holding eighth position. And the only boat that we've not recorded here at this point is Turtle Cove Marina, the 30-foot skater, Ryan Beckley and Chris Hopgood. Here's LPC running in fifth place here. Team Allen Lawn Care trailing, heading towards two and there we are in two the leaders with CR racing and CMR continuing to run pretty close to each other pretty good lead there you're looking from second to third see the third class third place boat performance boat center two boats you're really watching here are second and third CMR wants to stay stay in front of Performance Boat Center. Here's your leaders again. In super stock here today. This is lap number five of 11. CR Racing X Insurance. KC Boaz, Rob Undersaw, Doug Rahal. All these boats running the twin 300 XS package. Running in second again, CMR. Three seconds behind. Maintain pretty much the same distance on each of the last four laps. And then Performance Boat Center. Pretty good off the pace. Is pass, passes my broadcast point. Jackhammer running fourth. So Performance Boat Center fast. Diesel fast diesel fuels. He's is about 18 seconds behind the leader. Yeah, 13. About uh, is running in third. Jackhammer running in fourth. Look into the turn. Jackhammer following Performance Boat Center. LPC continues to remain in fifth. And Team Allen Lawn Care is in sixth. So we. Just about reached the halfway point of this race. Certainly the leaders are just beyond the halfway point. Big difference from the bracketed racing here. A lot, a lot of speed going on out there. This is their water here today. Looks like FJ Propellers taking over Wicked. Now Wicked moving back out in front as they head in front of Pier 60, but taking the wide turn. FJ Propellers on the inside line as they pass the, the, the start finish line. They were still running 7th and 8th. Even though the Wicked's on the outside line, he definitely seems to have an, an advantage in acceleration as he's just walking away on the back stretch. But we'll see. FJ could probably catch up to him going into the turn. Well, Todd Phillips has got to like this course. I mean, that smallest boat out there, the 28-foot Wicked. And as we look to the, the south end, we pan wide, we see our leaders as you see the CR racing team. And of course, Todd, Sean Torrente and Eric Belisle, they are taking those turns wide. They're holding their speed, but they're maintaining their difference. There's a Turtle Cove Marina. Not sure 
where he's been. Certainly haven't seen him on the last couple of laps. Seemed like. May have had some issues and got back up on plane. All right, so our leaders are coming back down. There's your two and three boats, but here's one and two. That's CR Racing. Looks like maybe CMR a little closer this time. He was holding his speed, taking the wide line. CR Racing X Insurance, your leader. Here after lap number six, and CMR is in second. Beautiful Doug Wright running well again here today. Won the last race in St. Pete. Wants to finish in front of Performance Boat Center here. Performance Boat Center is finishing up lap number six in third place. Jack Hammer continuing to run close, trying to get a podium finish. Had it earlier, but Rusty Williams and Michael Meyer Coral got by them. CR Racing X Insurance in first, CMR two, Performance Boat Center three, Jack Hammer four. Here's LPC PC number five. They're yep. running in fifth. And Billy Allen continuing to stay right behind him in sixth place. And here we see Wicked and FJ Propellers battling pretty good again. Same, same deal as last time. Gary kind of sticking it in front of him here at the end of the lap. Got around the turn and then Todd DePhillips was able to power away on the back straightaway. So... FJ Propellers, the bigger boat, the victory hull on the inside. Seemed to hold his speed through that turn a little bit better on this time. Uh, as you could just see, the lighter, smaller boat, he's able to carry his speed through the turn and get back out in front heading on the north leg. So we've completed lap six of seven. Lap six of 11, excuse me. 48 miles here today. This is super stock class. This is the biggest field of boats that we have here racing at the 12th annual Clearwater Hooters Offshore Nationals presented by Race World Offshore. Thanks for watching us at Race World Offshore Facebook and listening live at AM 820, FM 96.7 Tampa, and FM 98.3 Pinellas. And here's our leader again. He's been leading all the way. See, our racing, X Insurance, defending RWO World Champions from Key West, 20. 19. Doug Wright Hull. There's your three and four boats. There's the number two boat. CMR Racing. Continues to shadow CR. And the boat that wants to get ahead of CMR, Performance Boat Center, Fast Diesel Fuel Systems. There's your leaders. Heading around the south turn. CMR picked up about a second on that lap. It looked to me like he uh, is keeping the outside lane, but he's uh, getting pretty aggressive in the turns and uh, cutting those pins awfully tight. All right, Jackhammer running pretty well today. They were in the podium early, but got passed by Performance Boat Center fast, running in fourth. There's your leader on the north back straightaway. Uh, two miles on these straightaways, a 4.38 mile per hour, mile course, 11 laps. What a great day for them here today. It's still within striking distance, CMR. There's LPC. They're running in fifth place. Another Doug Wright Hull, Lauren Peters, and Vinny DiOrio. They went back to the back stretch, fast. Diesel Fuel Systems, Performance Boat Center. And we'll see Vinny DiOrio in the next race, too, as he takes the throttles behind the, uh, the new Class 1 boat. Again, FJ Propellers out in front of Wicked at the end of the next lap. They're running 7th and 8th. These guys have just been battling it out on this south turn. We go back 
to the other side of the race course. There's LPC. Again, five Doug Wrights, two victory holes, one skater, and one wicket, all running the 300XS package. And there's your leaders. Chopper following the boats. Continues to be CR Racing and CMR. You're... And we go back to these guys. This time, FJ Propellers coming around turn one. is able to hold off Wicked. Wicked will be getting around them after the turn and getting out in front of them. And, and now it looks like Gary may be coming into his setup a little bit better in that 40-foot victory hole. Back around, looking at three and four as they come around turn number two, heading southbound, Performance Boat Center and Jackhammer. So back. CR the, Racing still in the lead. Yeah, back at the end of lap number eight at CR Racing, CMR 1-2. And we're looking at Performance Boat Center move off the screen. Jackhammer running three and four. Jackhammer in fourth. Performance Boat Center Fast diesel fuel systems running in third. And they want to catch CMR. CMR finishes in front. They'll just edge them out in the points with one race to go. Jackhammer. Spectacular day for that 40-foot victory hall. We look back at the five, six, and seven boats. Back to the south end of the course, Performance Boat Center, followed by Jackhammer. Coming up at 2 o'clock, our next start here today, there's LPC, another Doug Wright hole, maintaining fifth position. Three laps, a little bit less now than three laps to go. And again, the battle between Wicked and FJ Propellers. FJ, again, will come in on this lap just ahead. Wicked making a charge, maybe trying to get around before they get to the start-finish line scoring pin, and does. So he'll move up to seventh. And then... FJ Propellers in eighth. Did we lose the Team Allen boat? Yeah, I've, I'm just realizing that we may not have seen them on that last run around. Get a good check on that this next time through. Here comes the Turtle Cove boat. So Ryan Beckley must have had some issues, and he got the boat back up and running, and now he's back out, but he's running back in eighth place here today he heads out past pier 60 beautiful clear water florida a lot of spectators enjoying the racing this is becoming one of the top fields in offshore powerboat racing in the world and they're talking about there being even more boats next year maybe 12 in key west for the world championship here's your leader with two laps to go cr racing x insurance some, some, some of the races on the national scene this year have had over 10 boats. They're expecting 12 in Key West and maybe even 15 next year. There's Team Allen Long Care. He's not running as well as he was earlier. I think he's fallen back a lap. Continues to be CR Racing X Insurance, CMR in second, Performance Boat Center fast. Fast diesel fuel systems running in third. And Jackhammer in fourth. There's Performance Boat Center. Wanted to get around CMR. If these standings are official, CMR can take the national points lead with one race left. The OPA race in Fort Myers, Florida, October 7th through the 9th. The Roar Offshore. Again, Wicked and FJ Propellers.
They have just had a race unto themselves today. Back at each other. Wicked back around them. Yep, they're pushing each other hard going down the straightaways, and they've just been flipping back and forth. Yeah, a lot of fun. These two guys. FJ's uh, really sticking tight to that inside line, and Wicked's just relying on his... Uh, on his lighter, smaller, faster boat to just pull ahead in the straightaways. So these guys have moved up into sixth and seventh place. Wicked back out in front. About a lap and a half to go for the leaders. These guys are sixth and seventh. Wicked now a couple boat links ahead. That's the first time we've seen that now. FJ Propellers has the inside line. A couple of times we see him take the lead on the turn, and then Wicked would come back out, but he's able to maintain speed and continue to hold his position and maintain sixth place after nine laps. So, Liliana looks like he had some issues. He's fallen back a lap. There goes Turtle Cove Marina, Ryan Beckley's boat, local favorite. Running back in eighth place. So here comes our leaders. CR Racing X Insurance just passing in front of us. Back, that's a shot of third and fourth. CR Racing. One lap to go here. CMR in second. This will be the final lap of the day in super stock class. So they've completed the south turn for the last time. Continuing to run in third place. Fast diesel fuel, fuel systems performance boat center. Myrick Coyle, Rusty Williams running in third. So the white flag was out. This will be the last lap of the day if things stand. These results are unofficial. In the national points chase, CMR with a second. There goes Jackhammer running in fourth. And Performance Boat Center in third will give them slight lead heading into the final race in Fort Myers. LPC continuing to run in fifth. And then the battle for sixth and seventh. FJ Propellers and Wicked Power Boats again. There's Team Allen limping along. And again, getting a little bit of air bouncing around. Wicked, he's carried a little speed. He wants to set, settle that down as he's ready to head into the turn. But has a slight lead over FJ Propellers. Boat running pretty well. Coming off his podium finish in... St. Petersburg, unable to stay with the leaders here today. And here comes your leader on what we have as the final lap of the day. That's CR Racing X Insurance. Rob Understall on the wheel. Casey Boaz on the throttles in this Doug Wright Hall. Trailing him, CMR Racing. There's Performance Boat Center and Jackhammer. Running third and fourth. So in front of the fans here at the start finish line, we should have our winner here today, CR Racing X Insurance. CR Racing's really letting it air out on this uh, on this home stretch. Yeah, we just uh, saw Ryan Beckley's boat shot of the, the local fan favorite, Turtle Cove Marina. And here's CR Racing. They're out for another lap. Is that right? No, they're finishing now. There it is. I apologize. There is CR Racing yep. X Insurance. And that's it. A win today. They led from start to finish. Casey Boaz, Rob Understall, second place will go to CMR, CMR. Racing. With Eric Belisle and Sean Dorente. Third place will go to Performance Boat Center Fast Diesel Fuel Systems. And these results are unofficial. But in the national points on in the APBA National Series, that will put CMR on top heading into Roar Ashore and Fort Myers in just a couple of weeks. There's Performance Boat Center 
Myra Coyle, Rusty Williams will take third place. Nice day for Jackhammer, who will finish up in fourth. 40-foot victory hole. They were on the podium initially, but performance got around them. And here comes your number five boat, and then battle for six and seventh. This is going to be fun for six and seventh because Wicked and FJ have gone at each other all day. On the left side of the screen, LPC, they should hold fifth place. FJ Propeller has been sticking tight to that inside line. If he can hold his speed. Well, the smaller boat on the to the right of the screen. Bouncing around, the, the, the victory hole running, much more stable, keeping the props in the water. Gary Ballou looks like he has what he needs to hold on to sixth place here today. Those two boats battled all afternoon long. I think they have the best show of the day. So FJ Propeller is going to hold on to sixth place here today. Good day for the for the victory team as they finish fourth and sixth. And Wicked Power Boats will take seventh here today. So 11 laps completed, still have a couple of... There's Team Allen Long here. They, something happened to, to them about seven laps into the, the race. Must have got themselves back up and righted but never running properly again yeah they were holding steady in the sixth spot and you know we were talking at the beginning of the race about how uh, these boats share a lot of parity and so a lot of the the results rely on skill they're propping out on the day also how they fuel the boats but uh, one of the things that really surprised me in, in talking to not only Billy Allen but also Ryan Beckley was they're a little bit larger humans. You and I can relate to that. <laughs> That's right. And uh, they were saying that, you know, their boats run just a little bit slower because they carry a little bit more weight. And, I mean, if you weigh, as a driver, 60, 70 pounds more than a driver in the next closest boat, you're going to lose about a mile an hour. Yeah, I mean, he, he obviously feels like that's part of it. He also feels like maybe that's why he's a better, what they consider it to be a rough water boat. See that. And, uh the, um, the, 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 and they are known as a rough water team. They like the water. They, they won in Cocoa Beach to start the season, uh, known to be a w rough water race. They had a good race on the first day of uh, 2019 in Key West, and that's their kind of water. So they're still out there running, fish, finishing up the race course, and as well, uh, so is Turtle, Turtle Cold Marina. But this, this one's in the books. The CR Racing wins today. CMR takes second. Performance Boat Center third. Yeah, and uh, coming in fourth, Jackhammer, uh, fifth, the LPC boat, which uh, they pretty much maintain the entire race. And uh, in uh, the big battle at the very end for six and seven, uh, FJ Propeller and Wicked, uh, FJ in six, Wicked in seventh. And then uh, I'm not really sure how the final two boats are going to score out because they seem to have broken down. So we'll uh, get that back to you in our next broadcast. Yeah, and we'll be we'll have the rest of the boats running here today, the the Super Cats, the the Mercury 860 class as well uh, the the Factory 450 and then the Mod Vs and the the, the Stock Vs. Stock Vs. And, and joining us for for that that uh, broadcast will be Team Woody's Billy Shipley. They've got their look at that, they got their they got their whole setup out there. That's where we should be. I know. That's, we had to talk to Billy about getting us set up so that we could be sitting on the beach and watching these uh, these boats right there live with them. I imagine they probably have something cold to drink down there as well. Yeah, they look very comfortable. Uh, so to wrap this up, I mean, there was interesting news. We talked about it in the first race in Superstock. Uh, we saw the report in Speed on the Water. Um, you know, they are moving. The, this 300 access engine that they have is getting uh, discon is, is discontinued, and there's – there's been talk about moving to the 300R. The, the teams have agreed unanimously that they're going to start that process. And by next year, many of the boats, some of them at least, will have them. And they expect it to be about a two-year process to, to get into the four-stroke. It, it's it, The motor itself is going to carry a little bit more weight, but Mercury says it's got a little bit more power. Uh, the drivers will have to learn uh, how the power curve works because 
Uh, being a four-stroke, it's not going to accelerate as fast as a two-stroke does. So they're going to have to learn a little bit more about driving, throttling up, throttling down, going into turns, et cetera. But um, the durability issues, the cost factors um, uh, pretty much outweigh, plus the support that Mercury is going to give them going forward. So it, it's a pretty exciting time, and we've heard that there's as many as five to seven boats that are actually in production right now being manufactured to compete in this class. I mean, we won't see big fields in every race, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of geographical differences in the country, different, uh, you know, you got Midwest, you got North, Southeast, and um, they'll, they'll be well represented in, in all of those races. So um, it is certainly the most exciting and up-and-coming class. And yeah, Mercury, 100% behind it. We talked to uh, Sir Haley of Mercury Racing, and, uh, you know, this, this will be a popular engine for them. Uh, you know, the, the data they're going to be able to get out of these uh, boats when they take those ECUs and look at them, running those engines in this type of environment, you know, in, in the maximum racing uh, environment, is going to be val very valuable to Mercury Racing. Yeah, they're going to do a lot of testing, too. And, um, you know, because these Mercury guys are so technically involved, they're going to be able to tweak those uh, ECU, the engine control units, um, to perform within um, the, the, the specifications and the standards that the drivers want. And at the same time, uh, they also have the ability to protect the motors from self-destructing in case of high temperature, low oil pressure, etc. Yes, the Guardian system. All right, so recapping again here today in Super Stock, leading from start to finish, Rob Understall and Casey Boaz and CR Racing X Insurance. Second goes to CMR Racing, Sean Torrente and Eric Lyle. And third to Performance Boat Center, Myra Coyle and Rusty Williams. All three dug right hulls. And the big story is that uh, CMR finishing second in front of Performance Boat Center, at least heading into the final race, Royal Shore in Fort Myers, now has the national points lead in that class, which Performance Boat Center had held all year long. We'll be back with a 2 o'clock start, final race of the day. That's uh, uh, the Super Cats. Class 860, the 450 factory class, the 39 MTI with the 450Rs, and then the two mods, the two modified classes, V and Stock V. To broadcast the final race today of this exciting 12th annual Clearwater Hooters Offshore Nationals on the Facebook page of Race World Offshore, also here locally on the radio in the Bay Area at AM 820 and FM 96.7 Tampa and FM 98.3 Pinellas. We'll send the radio coverage back to CBS Sports until we are back to the live stream and finish this up for you here in Clearwater.